Hello, and welcome to this lesson. In this video, we learn how the Svelte application instance controls an app and how it mounts it to the DOM. The Svelte application instance is what controls any Svelte app. The instance is typically linked to an HTML element in the index.html file. Any content within that element is controlled by Svelte. Let's take a closer look at how it works and open the index file from the public folder, as well as the main.js file from the source folder. We'll begin in the main.js file, which is the starting point for our application. It imports the app.svelte file and invokes it as a function with a config object of options. These options are used to mount the app to the page and register any globals that the app or its components need. The first option is a property called target, which specifies which element in the index file we want to mount the app to. Svelte will set this to the body element, but it can be changed to something else. Everything inside the app.svelte file will be injected between the body tags. From there, JavaScript controls the application and is responsible for showing data and changing pages. We mentioned earlier that we can change the element that Svelte mounts the app to. The target option takes any valid query selector, so we can mount it to a custom tag. To demonstrate, let's add a div tag inside the body element with an ID of app. Below that, we'll create another div with some static text. Now let's switch over to main.js and change the body selector to a query selector. Then, we target the div with the app ID as the one we want Svelte to mount the instance to. If we go to the browser and inspect the page, we'll see that Svelte injected the heading from the app.svelte file into the div tag that has the app ID. Svelte won't be able to control the second div because it's not linked to it in any way. This is useful if you want to add some functionality to an existing app, like a menu, but you don't want Svelte to control the entire application. We'll stick to the default in this course and mount the app to the body. So, let's quickly change everything back to how it was in the beginning. We'll start in the index file and remove the two extra tags. Then we'll switch over to main.js and change the selector to use the body element. Something to note though, is this second option in the config object. Props allow us to pass data from one component to another. We cover props in their own video, but until then, we'll remove it, otherwise it'll just interfere with our examples. Alright, that concludes this lesson on the Svelte application instance. In the next video, we'll learn how to bind data from the script section to the markup. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.